Welcome to early game spellcaster build for Neo 2, you bathrobe wearing bastards. This is one of the most broken early game builds you can play at the moment. It obliterates everything. Before we start with the build I have to explain what early game means in Neo so there is no confusion. It means first playthrough more or less, not first couple of regions or levels. In this case it is for first 100 levels or so. Max character level is 750 and there are 4 more difficulties beyond the starting one. And end game content on top of that called Abyss and Depths. New difficulties unlock one after another by completing set number of missions. Early game builds that I'm doing are for first playthrough for the most part and they change a bit as you progress due to better equipment becoming available over time. You can play with same exact gear however for many playthroughs as long as equipment level corresponds your own. That is done by soul matching gear at the blacksmith or acquiring smithing texts that allow crafting gear at your level with lower set requirements. Before levels 50 and 60 builds are not really possible, at least not very effective ones. Up until then it is best to go for balanced stat distribution with additional points into magic in this case, but also make sure to match requirements of the armor set you plan on using. At around level 100 stats should look something like this. I am investing a bit more into constitution this time around to get last guardian spirit bonus which I am going to explain later. 16 points into skill is necessary for set that I'm wearing but if you got smithing text for it requirements are gonna be much lower. From level 100 onward continue leveling magic mostly and then constitution heart and courage. Main weapon should be either switch glaive or split stuff since both scale off of magic, whichever one you like more. Special effects should focus on active skills. Set is Genmei Omnio. It is perfect for Omnio magic spellcasting builds. This set can be obtained at Dojo Mission 9 symbols, but it also drops all over the place. Helmet should have Omnio magic power effect, chest and gauntlets Omnio power and unlimited Omnio, pants and legs should have Omnio power. Accessories should be divination boards because of Omnio power bonus. Some other good bonuses you can get on these accessories are elemental damage increase and life drain magic hit. Add melee damage versus poisoned enemy too as it can be really useful at times. Before acquiring Genne use Omnio haunting set since it increases Omnio power or any other set as long as Omnio power and unlimited Omnio special effects are on the armor pieces. Starting spirits can be any and later switch to Surahicho. Guardian spirit I have opted for is Gambu because of Stolmart magic and anima bonus on magic hit. We need better constitution because of increased elemental damage resistance that Gambu gives us. Cores are Ipon Datara and Kasha because they work great together. Ipon increases yokai ability damage on enemies that are set on fire and Kasha yokai ability always puts scorch status on enemies that aren't fireproof. Kasha also drains life through yokai abilities which is neat addition. Last slot is best used for Onibi soul core because of elemental damage increase. Secondary guardian spirit should be Izanagami due to Omnio magic power bonus. My favorite spells from Omnio tree are Shikigamis. Specifically I use lightning and water. Kasha yokai ability is for setting enemies on fire so we are set in that regard. Add on top of that geyser and thundershot. Then we need barrier. Slot. and protection. From ninjutsu get poison shuriken, shuriken shooter and ninja tool mastery. Best clan for this build is Akechi due to Omnio Mage power effect. At higher ranks you get better Omnio power effect. So how to play this build? It is so simple it's ridiculous. Protection and barrier on yourself, 
sloth on enemy and start spamming shikigamis, geyser and thunder shots. That is it. Things get a bit more complicated when dealing with many boss enemies one after another. This is where Poison Shurhan comes into play as you can do additional damage that way without spending spells. In such situations you will have to use melee a bit as well just to preserve spells for later bosses. Anyway that is it really, nothing else needs to be added here, enjoy.